Can you believe the national is 30 days a month away from now? Unbelievable because it just feels like yesterday we was wrapping up last year's national and just decompressing and processing everything that happened. And next thing you know, uh, football season comes and goes, the holiday season comes and goes, and now you're, you're six months away, then you're three months away, and here we are officially one month away from the 2024 national. Are you excited? because I am so excited. I wanna go over five things that you need to know in order to hopefully fully prepare yourself ahead of the national because it is very daunting and you need to have some kind of plan, agenda, some kind of idea of what you wanna do there. And if you just wanna go in open-minded with nothing, then go ahead. But if you wanna have the best possible national and the most successful national you can, I would strongly recommend take a note of these five things that I'm going to say. Let's kick it off with number one, and that is to book your hotel now. Plain and simple, you just don't wanna uh, end up having a hotel that's like an hour away or 45 minutes away or one that you're paying crazy money for, especially if you book last minute. A lot of the nationals in the Cleveland area are booking up fast. I've mentioned this in previous videos talking about uh, preparing for the national. So if you haven't done so already, please do so. It's plain cut and dry. Book your hotel now if you are going. Do not wait any longer. Number two, if you need money, if you need cash to spend, sell cards now. Because right now you have plenty of time to go to a couple local card shows, regional shows, to post on eBay, post on social media, to complete deals, to get the funds into your account, your PayPal, Venmo Cash App, and, you know, get it transferred over and get the cash that you need for the show. You don't wanna be frantic and, and panicking last second to try to get all this stuff ready for the national, especially like a week or so away. No, money's no issue, then skip this part completely. But for a lot of people, people do need to budget. And I do believe that if you sell cards now, then you'll be in a very good spot to be able to walk into the national with money in your pocket. And yes, of course, you can go to the national to sell your cards as well. What kind of percentage are you going to be getting? That's going to vary based off of vendor. If you want to at least be able to walk into the national with cash in your pocket, sell cards now to get the upper hand so you're not running around last second trying to make deals and then next thing you know you're taking less money just to get money for cards number three check market trends get an idea for the market see where it's kind of flowing and going because right now it right now as i'm recording it's super basketball heavy come the national whether it's luca or tatum that wins the nba finals uh, by, by the time you're seeing this video, we'll actually already probably know I'm recording it after game one. But we'll, you know, that player's market is going to be through the roof. People are going to be getting ready for football because football is, I believe, going to have started maybe or just about starting, you know, depending on the team's practice schedule. But get an idea who's hot, who's not, who's a buy, who's a sell. Familiarize yourself with it so you're not just kind of sitting there you know looking at price charting looking at you know charts and graphs and all that stuff you know your market movers whatever app that you guys want to use and choose but kind of go an idea with like hmm okay cj stroud is actually pretty hot right now maybe i should try to sell some cj strouds or maybe i should pick them up before it even goes any higher maybe there's a small dip in cj stroud market and i'm just using them as an example but maybe there's a small dip in a cj stroud uh market that I can take advantage of. Buy now, sell now, or buy now, hold, and then sell for week one. Whatever you guys wanna do, but have an understanding of the market going into it. Just don't go in completely blind, because if you go in blind, I mean, for all we know, a player's market could crash because they're gonna be injured, or maybe people are starting to stay away from this guy because they don't believe in him. Whatever it is, just have a general understanding of the market, of the players or cards or sport that you're looking to buy. This is a fun one. And bring snacks into water. Yes, you can bring snacks and water into the convention center. Well, at least you've been able to do so the past two years that I've gone. And bring in snacks, bring in water, drink, anything like that is exceptionally important to stay hydrated, to stay fueled, because time will go pretty, pretty quickly. You will get thirsty very, very quickly just from talking to people. You might have to shout a little bit, talking to your friends that you're at the national with. I mean, just making this video alone, I'm a little parched. So while you're there making deals, you wanna have a bottle of water that you can drink and refill even, because snacks, food, drinks, any of that, 
is going to be expensive at the convention center. I mean, you go to any convention center and a bottle of water is like five, six dollars. Uh, to get like a, a small fry is, you know, probably five, six, seven dollars even. So being able to have snacks in your bag, granola bars, protein bars, whatever it may be, and drinks with you will just help prolong the day. So you're not at a table doing deals and now you have to step away, go find the concession stand. And next thing you know, you just wasted another 30, 45 minutes because you had to wait in the line just to get a bottle of water. Bring one in, bring some snacks so you don't have to, you know, go all the way there, across the venue, all the way back. Last but not least, number five, this is going to be super dependent on you and what you want to do, but go to the national with some kind of plan. Buy, sell, trade, whatever it may be. Whoever you're looking to buy, sell, or trade, whatever you're trying to do, just go in with a plan so you are prepared. This kind of piggybacks off of my number three point, understanding the market and such like that. Even if you don't want to understand the market, you could care less for the dips or the highs and the lows. Have some kind of plan. I want to go in buying baseball. I want to go in buying Jason Tatum, whatever it is. Have some kind of plan so you are prepared and ready. Again, kind of piggybacking off of uh, my number three point, but if you have a plan and you know what you want, whether it's a daily plan, hey, I just want to buy Pokemon today. Hey, I just want to buy football today. Hey, I'm looking to sell it. Whatever it is, have a plan, prepare yourself so you're not wasting time, wasting money, wasting cards that you traded away for something that you didn't even want and or need, but you just felt like you should have done it in the moment. Have a plan, keep yourself calm and zen, and you will have a fantastic national. And if you do any of these five things that I mentioned in this video, and again, this isn't limited to just these five things, then you will be in a great position to have a very strong and successful national. And hopefully you guys were able to take something away from this. If I missed anything or you wanna piggyback off something or any feedbacks that you guys have, drop those down below in the comment section. I'd love to read and reply to any and all comments down there. Please press all the buttons, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, check out the channel membership program. If you enjoyed this video, then I've queued up an excellent video right there for you guys that I do believe is gonna be excellent for your hobby endeavors. Hopefully, I'll see you in that one.